after you started, so you, you said you've only had BeatStars for about two years. After you first signed up with BeatStars and started selling beats online, how long did it take you to make your, your first sale? Um, that was funny because um, I had uh, occasionally people uh, wanting to buy something from me um, before I signed up to BeatStars already, but it was all manual. I had to send stuff out after they paid me and stuff like that. I even do, did non-exclusive licensing, um, kind of like Beatsell does. Or, um, but yeah, the moment, I think before that, before I signed up with Beatsell, I made like 200 to 300 euros or $500 um, from music. And I was on track train. I had like 10, 10 beats up or anything like this, the free model one. And then I switched to beat stars. I wanted uh, to go serious with this beat selling stuff when I feel ready for it, when I really can um, upload beats regularly because I wasn't good enough before it. Anyways, after I um, signed up with beat stars, I think I made my first $1,000 uh, in the month I signed up on beat stars, right on the first month. Um, and it was like, five to six leases and like one exclusive that was um there was uh four digits something along one thousand dollars and that was huge to me at uh, at that time so you said something interesting you said you didn't start getting serious about licensing beats online because you weren't that good at the time when did you feel that you were ready what what changed in your process that showed you that it was time for you to, to really take this seriously yeah as i said like before that i uploaded mostly for fun and i didn't even know about online beat selling like my friend dejan beats he told me about it and i couldn't believe what he was saying that people were making like a lot amount of uh, a big amount of money from 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 their hobby so um and then i started lo looking up some guys some uh, some people I like musically, some people I like more like business wise. Anyways, um, and I saw that like musically they are way ahead of me. Like they have a way cleaner mix, super boomy low end, and everything I like about hip hop and uh, or music product, hip hop music production. And uh, yeah, that's when I took like two months off of uploading and just focused on my mixing, on my like on on. I just try to create a, a more clean product um and shortly after that um i also sped up my um my frequency of uploading and that's that and i said to myself like if i do this for six seven eight months and nothing is happening then i i'm gonna treat this as a hobby like i did before but uh, i think that is the route that actually could make it successful and make it also um uh, and also uh make it like very profitable and yeah that's what i tried and i think after six to seven months i suddenly saw like all these results and yeah i'm pretty happy i did it <laughs> did it at the time when you decided to give yourself you know that six month timeline did you have a job were you in school uh, I was in law school. Um, I was, that was the point. I was uh, about to graduate like one month before I signed up on BeatSource. No, two months after I signed up uh, on BeatSource, I was writing my final exam on, in law school. And I said to myself, yeah, you spend all, all this time here. You should maybe focus like on your career, on, uh, on studying and all that. And that's why I said to myself, you know, if you, if you spend so much time on this, at least do it like seriously and try to try to try to maximize what you put into it and yeah i um i had carl jr he's also on on, on beat Stars, a very fire producer um he uh he gave me some tips um on how to like organize yourself and present yourself on your channel and your whole musical catalog and that helped a lot so did you end up finishing law school or did you quit? To, to no, I, gra I graduated. It. I graduated, but um, yeah, it was it was pretty great. I graduated and then I had the time to 
focus on music completely and that also have helped a lot 